After our awesome tour in Coron with our island hopping, it's time to fly back home and do some airport hopping. And instead of flying back direct, we're taking a series of flights, starting from Rainy Buswanga, and with a hurried restroom break in Clark, Pampanga. Onwards to a quick food trip of Lechon in Cebu, before finally getting home to Manila. Fares cheaper that way, so they say, but is it all worth it? Let's find out right here on Airline Travel and Airports. Storm season, but our travel goes on, beginning with all the rain we had in Coron. Okay, ayan, bale. Pupunta uh, kami ng Manila na ngayon, pauwi na kami from Busuanga after our tour in Coron. Tapos sa, uh, yung may weather, oh. Ayan. So, tapos, eto pa, ang uwi namin, uh, hindi diretso ng Busuanga to Manila. Sa tayo na Clark. Tapos, Cebu. Tapos, Manila. So, tatlong lipad pa bago kami makauwi. With the heavy rain we're getting, we're expecting our flight will be delayed, and worse, it might just get cancelled. Now that's gonna be a big problem if that happens. Good thing we got to the airport way early, so in case things don't go as planned, we'd have enough time to call some friends for help. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Parang kami. Well, it seems our fight will still push through, with a little bit of delay. So off we go through security check, and eventually at the departure gates, where we can chill out knowing that there's hope in making it back to Manila today. But miraculously, the weather clears and we finally see our aircraft arriving. We're having strange weather here for now, having sun, then heavy rain, and back to having sunshine. With three flights that we'll be taking today, we hope there won't be any more delays, and that we make it to our connecting flights on time. Um, I guess Final destination, para mga kasabot yun. Movies. Thank you. Thank you. It sure feels nice that the airport staff would see us through our flight, and despite the gloomy weather a while ago, that buong pusong alaga by Pau simply helps to start our journey right. And as usual, whenever we find ourselves at the ramp, we do a little photo op taking photos and selfies of the aircraft we're taking just before boarding. And for the first leg of our trip, we're taking PAL's Q400 aircraft, a sleek twin-engine turboprop that can seat up to 86 of us passengers on this flight that will last about an hour and 10 minutes. Now, we could have taken a direct flight from Buswanga to Manila, but for Mabuhay milers like me, who need to meet its annual requirement of flying at least 25 flight segments, other than earning miles per flight, taking a route with lots of stops is very favorable, as long as you're not in a rush to get to your destination. And let me tell you what, flights with layovers are sometimes cheaper. Or, for a little price difference, and if you're a bit adventurous to go on side trips, in cases like this, I'd be very glad to take it. Anyhow, engine's up and running and we're moving towards the runway. And since it began drizzling again, I just hope flight won't get too bumpy on this rainy day. As we took off, we met some rain and low flying clouds head on. Then our ascent got a bit shaky for some time. Now what else is there to get from turbulence other than fear and some inconvenience? I can't blame some passengers to call for some divine intervention, but personally, I believe it helps. It may sound cheesy, but I've always placed my trust in our Lord, whether to be the captain of my life or for all my flights. Knowing that, it's all about being still and just chill, with a strong belief that things will be alright. With prayers answered, our flight got smooth as we reached cruising altitude. Flight snacks are then served in the form of dried peas and a bottle of water. Unlike in PAL's jet aircraft, no coffee is served on turboprop flights like this. So, after consuming them in less than a minute, there's nothing else to do but to go up front and explore, especially checking out this plane's one and only lavatory. Nope, you won't find any galley here. This aircraft's only galley is located way at the rear. 
a bit cramped and having a very tight space, the SKU-400's lavatory might be a problem for the claustrophobic. Meanwhile, back to my seat as our plane began descending. With Anderson enjoying the view of Papanga down below, it was also a treat seeing this plane's gears go down for a show, signifying how close we are to arriving that I gotta strap myself to my seat as we're soon coming in for landing. times before, but seeing the new airport terminal, I'm just excited to step in and see what's in store. Completed last September of 2020, it's been compared to award-winning airports like the one in Bactan, Cebu. Nowadays, there's hardly a trace that this airport was once a former U.S. military airbase. Anyhow, soon as our aircraft came to a halt, it's a mad dash to the terminal as we only got about 30 minutes to catch our connecting flight to Cebu. So, no more chit-chat with the crew. We had to get going to take the shuttle bus to the terminal to make it to the gate to where by now, people from our connecting flight may have started boarding. My fear, if we get left behind, Manila is only about an hour's bus ride away. No worry about that, but for frequent flyers like me who'd like to spend more time flying, missing two flight segments is a waste. And just as we thought our bus ride to the terminal would take a long time, guess what? With just a short distance, I think we could have saved fuel and spent less time gathering up inside the bus if they instead just allowed us to just simply walk across. Oh well. Every airport has its policies. And we're happy to know that we're using the same gate to board our connecting flight to Cebu. The downside, we're just staying here as boarding will commence soon. So all we can do is to make a quick run to use a nearby restroom. In this case, our boarding passes for our next flight is verified. And all we can do for now is wait. Uh, ano muna kami connecting. Tapos ano po na naman kami ng Cebu. So, this is what's happening there. Collecting our boarding pass. Tapos uh, ano naman makikita pa kami. Thank you. 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 Para mag-inside. Ah, okay. Sige. Hindi naman kami mag-inside. Kaya pa. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Hoping to enjoy your brief stay here, let me just chat with the airport staff. I'm connecting, we're not going to the airport. It's a beautiful airport here. Only to be informed that we're using the same plane that will take us about an hour and a half to Bactari, Cebu. Soon, it's back again to riding the shuttle bus, which will take us on a seemingly very, very long ride back to our P-400 aircraft. I guess for our quick stay here in Clark, this just got to be the most thrilling part, getting stuck inside a shuttle bus, which took longer than just having to walk across a few steps to board our flight. But I don't mind. We're not getting left behind. The longer it takes, the more I save our stay here in Clark. Meanwhile, we're up and at it, getting inside what some people would call the flying pencil. Flight is almost full, and I'm glad that's exactly what I had. Getting a good view of Clark International Airport's vast terminal, which I promise to return someday soon so I can feature this fascinating airport in my future blogs. Seeing foreign carriers is simply candy for the eyes. Well, so much for a short stay here, engines up and running again, and we're taking off for our next destination. Well, you know the routine. Shortly after takeoff, in-flight snacks are served in the cabin. It's all we're getting in this very short time that we're flying. Back in Mactan, Cebu. As much as we'd like to savor our time inside the plane, 
who are just eager to get to the airport despite our countless travels here before. There's just something with this place, which has a very different vibe that says you're definitely on vacation. And the magic begins as we take a quick shuttle bus ride to Terminal 1. Given options to make a stop in the Queen City on the way back to Manila, we simply have some planned activities as our agenda. That includes looking for a good place where we can try out one of Cebu's pride. We're on a mission to try out their mouth-watering lechon. In arrivals near Duty Free is where you find the stall Cebu's original lechon belly, where for less than 200 pesos, you'll get the chance to try out budget meals in original flavor or spicy. More tour stops are pasalubongs in the form of dried mangoes, among other goods. Not to mention dried seafood, they're just simply everywhere. So for last minute shopping, there's no need to worry as you can still get them here. Be reminded that this is an airport and things can get a bit pricey, but at least in case you need some stuff, they're conveniently ready. After a bit of shopping, it was time to get to departures, passing through this airport's modern electronic gates that'll verify if you're indeed a passenger scheduled to take today's flight. From there, it's another security check, and after that, you're all set. It's time to wander around and explore what this terminal has to offer. In our case, we're off to take advantage of the perks in being PAL's frequent flyer. So, down we go, taking a short ride via this elevator, where we find ourselves getting inside PAL's Mabuhay Lounge. Open last 2023 is this 114-seater sanctuary where business class and the one miles elite travelers want to escape from all the hustles and bustles of the airport, providing amenities such as shower rooms, charging outlets, Wi-Fi connections, and a buffet table that offer a wide array of delectable food and refreshments. Along with Arascaldo, well, we're having our lechon belly that we bought earlier so we can enjoy them with drinks and desserts, all here before our flight. Stopped and refreshed, we eventually move to our assigned gate, as boarding has already commenced. This is our third and last flight of our trip, and unlike our previous flights where it was all turbo props, this time we're flying aboard an A321 aircraft. After flying turbo props earlier, this A321's cabin never looked so big. It's a full flight, and this time we're seated a bit ahead of the wings, so we can disembark right away. We sure want to go home quick, as we're somewhat tired from doing three flights the whole day. So here's the thing doing all this. You can quickly earn flight segments to qualify towards becoming an elite member, but taking all these side trips can be physically draining. So plan it ahead as you have all year to make it, starting from January 1st till the end of December. If you think you'll be taking PAL frequently, I strongly suggest you sign up with Mabuhay Miles and become a member. you know the routine, in-flight snacks shortly after takeoff. The difference from Q400 flights and bigger jets like this is that they get to serve coffee here, along with hot meals if you're in business class. In our flight from Cebu to Manila that takes about an hour, finishing these snacks would last about 10 minutes, leaving us some time to get that sleep we so badly need. Take for instance my travel buddy who even improvised in making his own eye shade. But you know me, I can hardly sleep on short flights to see what's happening especially when our flight begins to descend. I just gotta witness our landing. Finally, after a long day of flying, we're back in Manila. To wrap things up, if you're a Mabuhay Miles member who'd like to reach or maintain your elite status, taking flights with multiple stops is one way to go. For a little extra, you can earn these flight segments fast. But the drawback is, it's not for everyone as traveling like this can be really tiring. But for airline fans like me who love taking flights, I don't really mind, no matter how this style may seem ridiculous to some. Honestly, I somewhat enjoy going on side trips, getting to see different places in between stops. Personally, for only a few hundred pesos added to our fare, I'd take these kinds of trips again and again, especially sharing the gift of travel with some of my friends. With Alex Luis Anderson Cruz, this is Mitch Young. See you on my next vlog.